Hey, hey, it's Leslie with JNL Adventures, and I am back in the kitchen. And every time I do these videos, I look and I think, man, you could have combed your hair, Leslie. <laughs> I have gotten so bad about like just putting it up in like a little messy bun and like, I don't know. I just don't, I don't care. <laughs> And it was always funny to me because uh, I, I guess I was doing a blog one time. I had a blog going and I had like put makeup on or something for some picture. I don't really wear makeup and someone had said, you should wear makeup more like it shows that you care about yourself. And I mean, I think it's totally fine if people wear makeup. Like I think that's great if that makes them feel good. I just don't care. I uh, honestly prefer not to put products on my face. I don't know why. Um, just kind of resonates with me more. Not a judgment. I think I love seeing how people do their makeup, especially like eyeshadow. I love seeing um, how people do their eyeshadow. It's just not something that I want to spend time on. Um, and honestly, like I probably uh, will get my hair cut after everything kind of opens back up and settles down because I don't like to spend a lot of time on my hair. But I kind of do like being able to just pull it up, so I might keep it long and just like get the it um, the dead ends and stuff cut off because I really need to. Anyway, just another perspective. I just don't think like if you want to wear makeup, wear makeup. If that brings you joy, let it bring you joy. But I don't think it's a reflection that I don't care about myself that I don't wear makeup. Um, I just don't like to wear makeup. <laughs> just not something I want to spend time and money on. Anyway. I am making my hubby's grilled stuff steak burritos. He was really sad when Taco Bell got rid of them. Probably when we first got married, like within a year or so, like I knew he really liked them, so I made them the first time. They turned out really good. I've made them one other time. I don't know why I don't make them more. Uh, I think that uh, I kind of get intimidated by certain recipes. I don't tend to want to mess with them, but I'm really getting into cooking more, and so I'm realizing that it doesn't take as much time as I think, and also if I do it the way I like, which is just to like prep ahead, so I kind of, for me, I enjoy cooking more if I kind of think through the recipe and go, okay, what can I get started on the day before, um, kind of plan it out like that, sometimes not, but like even earlier in the day, like grating the cheese, doing things like that. It just makes me enjoy the process more instead of like feeling like I have to get in here and cook everything all at once. So right now I am getting ready to shred some cheese. Um, I don't have a specific recipe I'm following. There are different recipes for like stuffed steak burritos. Most of them we use like just regular hamburger meat. I'm using flank steak. I had, I can't remember what steak I had asked for, but when the I used um, Instacart at the grocery store, and I just have to say, those people do an amazing job. Like, we've had our very first experience. I don't know if you've had groceries delivered. Our very first experience was probably a year ago. I did it one time. Normally, I just do grocery pickup. Um, but uh, anyway, and I didn't have a good experience, but they'd just gotten started. But this time, like yesterday, I actually did two different... Uh, pickup services or delivery services. I did Target and if you go on the Target website, and of course I'm not getting anything from this, I just wanted to share. If you go on the Target website and you say that you're interested to do the ship to home, I think it's through a place called Shipped or something like that, um, you can get four weeks for free. So that's pretty cool and um, they'll deliver. And so the lady was really nice. Like I had, um, our car is actually in the shop and so um, I had wanted to try to figure out, like kind of all happened unexpectedly, and so I wanted to figure out something special to do for Josh for his birthday since we were kind of stuck in, and so I thought we could do a game day. So I went ahead and got some couple of Nintendo Switch games uh, so we could play at home. Anyway, they delivered those. I felt bad afterwards realizing it's not non-essential. I mean, I, I don't think like people are going to do that job if they mind, or maybe not. Anyway, I just wasn't thinking I probably would have... I don't know if I waited, but anyway, I told the lady I, that I really appreciated it because I don't want anyone to feel like to do their job is dangerous or anything. I don't know. <laughs> Y'all, I'm kind of rambling. Anyway, I just really appreciate what people do. Like, I've always appreciated what people do for their job. Um, but she was really nice. She immediately, like, when she got there, said she was there, that she was able to find the video games that were both in stock, asked me if we needed anything else, which I thought was really nice, and then checked out. And, um... 
was really friendly and I even said to her, you know, I'm sorry I wasn't thinking about what was going on and that these aren't really essentials. And she was like, oh no, it's okay. Essentials, entertainment's essential, you know, hope he has a good birthday. And so I thought that was really sweet. Um, so anyway, that was really nice. And they did like the contactless uh, delivery. She actually took a picture of the door with the item at the door. Of course we were home, so it was fine. Um, but anyway, I gave a good tip and, um, and then let's see. Oh, Kroger. So Kroger, I made a big shopping list. And again, the lady was so nice and like told me she was there, asked me if I needed anything else, went through and told me all the substitutions and, um, even took a picture of the toilet paper aisle and said well, they didn't have this do you want a different kind of course she did leave and then I was like yeah I want this kind and had I just said give me any toilet paper <laughs> we were kind of running low <laughs> so I just wanted any <laughs> but um so yeah uh it was kind of funny too because I had I had been buying like I'll just go ahead and get two big packs of hamburger meat every grocery tri trip because we usually have been shopping like two to three weeks every two to three weeks um and maybe we'll get a few things in between so i'll just get like six pounds of hamburger meat and that's like the max like you can get two of the big three pound packages but apparently like you can get two of the big three pound but you can't get like six of the one pound so they're out of them so she said she had to like argue about it and i was thinking well i didn't mean for you to argue i don't want anyone to be without but anyway it's just a different time who knows what to do and I'm rambling, so I don't know if y'all like that or not. But but anyway, I had a good experience at the grocery store and got everything we needed. But we ended up having to get something different besides flank steak. But what I thought was really sweet, or whatever steak I ordered, we got flank steak. But what I thought was really sweet was that she actually took the time to go to the meat department and ask what kind of steak. So I thought that was pretty cool, like what steak was close to that. So... Anyway, if you've been debating on doing delivery, I've had really good experience. I'm sure some have not, but I've had really good experience. Anyway, so now I'm just kind of getting stuff ready for the burritos so that'll make it easy. I am, um, I did read one recipe that said they used Colby Jack. I've got some Colby Jack and some Pepper Jack that have been in the fridge and I don't want it to go bad. So I'm going to go and shred it and we'll use that on the burritos. And I'm going to chop up an onion. So that's what I'm going to do first. All right, I'll be back. All right, so I got the onions chopped and cheese grated, and now I'm working on the rice. And I'm using Knorr um, rice and pasta blend with bell peppers and a sweet tomato sauce. I'm sure you can use like any recipe you want for the rice. I am um, kind of not sure I've not ever used, I don't know if I've used this pan before. So, I'm curious, I don't know. <laughs> it's not the pan that came with it, so. But Josh says it's supposed to work on this. So we'll see. I'm waiting to see if it'll boil. <laughs> I won't make y'all watch. <laughs> so what are y'all up to this weekend? Josh is actually kicking back on, in his rocking chair <laughs> um, out on the patio. I think he's really enjoying that. It's been a nice day. I know he's a little bummed because, um, you know, it's not the typical way we spend his birthday. Birthdays, we make a big deal out of birthdays. Birthdays are special. So um, anyway, but I think he's having a good time. And, uh, anyway, not much to say. I'm just going to see if this, I think I'm starting to see it boil. So, yay! So, I know y'all can read the back of the package on the rice mix, but I did use the oil. I don't always use the oil, but I just want to make sure it's really good. And, um, I'm cooking it on this New Wave, um, induction cooktop. I started it out 425. I've cooked it on high, letting it come to a boil. And then I'm going to go to medium low and let it simmer for seven minutes, just like it says, covered. So, I'll be back. I was going to show y'all real quick this steak. I'm just using our George or Cuisinart art grill and uh, I think it's like a 1.2 pound flank steak and I marinated it and I will give you the marinade recipe 
but it smells really good. So they said just to cook it on 400 for 10 minutes. So I'll let you know. All right, so I took the flank steak off um, the griddle, the grill. Um, I cooked it for about 10 minutes at 400 degrees, which is what I kind of learned from researching it for the flank steak. And um, it said to let it cook until it reached an internal temperature of 135. Mine honestly reached 160. So, um, but we like our meat a little bit more dead. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Okay, well done. <laughs> All right, so let's try this. Does it taste as good as it smells? It definitely tastes good. I'm not going to lie and say it tastes as good as it smells. <laughs> but they recommended that you marinate it overnight. Yeah. And I didn't do that. So, but that's next, okay. Next time. We're going to add a lot of other flavors. And so you're not going to be able to taste the steak as much. But I'm going to let you try it too, Josh. Okay. Hold on. Okay. But it's definitely a good steak. Mmm. What do you think? That is good. So. Sorry to all of our viewers, you're gonna hear me chewing for a minute. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna finish just cutting the steak in like little strips so that they'll be good on the burrito. Mm -hmm. And then I'll be back. Okay. All right, so now I've got the burrito style flour tortillas on a plate. I've chopped up the steak a little bit and I warmed these up for about a minute, but honestly they've set out a little bit longer. So now they're kind of cool to the touch, but hopefully they'll still good, do good. And I'm just going to start putting my toppings. I'm going to start with the beans. I'm actually kind of thinking about how they do it at Welcome to Moe's. That's what we Mo's. call it. Welcome to Moe's. But I'm going to put refried beans, um, some of that Spanish rice. And then I'm going to add some of the steak. And I'm going to try not to overstuff. So I'm going to do like four pieces of steak. Sounds good to me. I don't know how they do it. I mean, they stuff those burritos. <laughs> and somehow it works out. I'm going to, these are for Joshua. He likes guac. I don't like guac. I'm not a big fan of it. I don't, I don't like it on anything but the burritos. I know it's weird, it's like cheese. I don't like cheeseburgers, but I like cheese on tacos, cheese on burritos, cheese on pizza. All right, and I'm gonna use just a little bit. I've got some salad mix. I'm just gonna pick out some regular iceberg lettuce because I don't wanna cut up the lettuce. <laughs> it's in the fridge. I ordered bagged lettuce and I got the head of lettuce. Like, I just, I know people do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna add some shredded cheese. Desperate times call for desperate measures. I know. And if it came down to it, Josh, I would do it for you. Oh, I understand. <laughs> I know you would. I have no doubt of that. And then I'm gonna put some pico. I'm trying to remember when the last time you made these for me was. I think it. Remember, it was when Hank came over. Oh, that's right. So it was. I want to say we were actually. We were at Mil or at um, our other apartments. Yeah, and uh, you know, still here in Conway, but other side of town. Yeah. So we're gonna do pico, and then um, I'm gonna top it off with some ranch sour cream. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> Rolling it. I'm a little nervous, y'all. As I said, she's done these before, but it's been a while ago, so. And I'm sure I was nervous then, too. You did great. All right, let's see. <laughs> if I had an extra hand, I'd do a drum roll for you. Dun, dun, dun. Here, they like, oh no, y'all, it's already happening. It's already. <laughs> okay. They do it so well there. What's up with this? <laughs> I don't they know like how they squish it. I don't know how they get them to seal, honestly. How they seal them shut. 
That's what I've never been able to figure out. Oh, y'all, yeah, please say some prayers. Say some little prayers for my Belito friend. It is not looking good. It looks like it's going to overflow. Have faith, Josh. I do have faith. I know you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I can do this. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> do I need to do the sad trumpet sound? No! <laughs> I stuffed it too full. Oh no. So we have an overstuffed burrito. It is going to be okay, y'all. That's right. I have faith in my wife. Oh, yeah. He was, like, talking about doing this tr sad trumpet. Doesn't that sound like faith, y'all? I was only having fun with you. I didn't mean it. Whatever. Whatever. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> it's a stuffed burrito, that's for sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's try another one. <laughs> Round number two. Leslie versus the burrito. Okay, I'm going to stop touching that and maybe it'll all work out. <laughs> okay, we're going to try a little bit less. <laughs> If we have any Taco Bell employees or ex-employees watching our channel, let us know how they, you know, how it's supposed, you know, how, they, I, I won't say how it's supposed to be done because that isn't accurate. Let us know how Taco Bell does it compared to how we're doing it. My brother used to work at Taco Bell. My dad used to work at Taco Bell. I told you that, didn't I? Uh-uh. Yeah. He was, I believe he was a manager. I think mom told me that he used to work at Taco Bell. Okay. It's looking okay. It's looking good. Let's see. No, we will have none of that on there. <laughs> Very, very quiet. She's making burritos. Ha 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 ha. Let's zoom in on this masterpiece in creation. Pray for me together forever. I'm doing the drum roll for you. Please. It rolled! Ah! Yes! Yes! <laughs> ah, did it, I did it. And that the view meter spike. Yep. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put this on. Like this. <laughs> oh my gosh, this thing rolled perfectly. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to have to stop recording to get her a paper towel. Okay. Now that I've got my burritos rolled. Oh, that one doesn't look good. Is it going to make it? Dun, dun, dun. Is it going to survive? We're going to pretend. <laughs> oh, Josh. Uh-oh. Okay. So I've got the oven on or this little thingy <laughs> at 375 and I'm going to let the burrito heat up and I'm going to get Josh to heat up this other skillet and we're going to put it on top to do the grill marks we'll be back all right okay. so I've got the new wave oven it's at 320 and I did use a little bit of oil 
and I just put the burrito directly in the pan in the oil and now I've got another pan that Josh heated up um, just a blunt uh, regular pan regular empty pan and what you're just trying to do is just kind of heat it up a little more and you want to get these great little grill marks right there look at that doesn't that look beautiful looks good to me all right and the other one even though it's not as pretty it still looks good i think josh is going to enjoy this so oh i'm sure i will all right so we're going to go ahead and finish this one up and then we'll do the taste testing <laughs> all right all right here we go taste test Mm. Oh, that is good. <laughs> Taco Bell, shame on you for not making these anymore. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> this is good. How do they compare? <laughs> These are amazing. Awesome. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> I'm going to fix me, so. There you go.